of Cottonwood Cove. I don't know where Cottonwood Cove is, but anyway, T years after. So T years after 2017, which means T equals zero represents 2017. They are giving us a function, 17,250 e2 negative 0 0.0512 t. What will the population be in 2024? What will the population be in 2024? What am I asked to do and how do I think about it? What do I, how do I proceed? Anyone? Uh, substitute T for 7. For 7, very good. We plug it in. Okay, seventeen two five zero and it's E uh, to negative point zero five one two T. Good. So we want to plug in seven and when I plug in seven I get twelve zero five four. Since we're talking about people I would not dare to do anything and just write 12,054. That's my opinion. Because I can't have anything like that. Okay. Um, when will the population first drop below? Drop below 14,000. When? Okay. So how do I address that? Set so the equation equal to 14,000. Exactly. So 14,000 equals 17250e to negative point zero five one two t Excellent. How do I proceed? I have to plug in my laptop if I can reach it. If I can reach it, I was able to. Okay, so how do we proceed? We have to solve for T. Correct. How do we do that? Uh, would you divide by 17,250? Absolutely. So remove a zero, and we have 1,400 over 17,25. Don't, don't even look at it. I know it's an ugly number. Good. What now? Put natural log on both sides. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Awesome. So I have natural log 1400, 1725 equals negative 0.0512t because natural log e is. One. Thank you very much. And I divide by this number. Okay, so let's plug it in. Remember to put parentheses, and if you want to put the minus in here, you have to have parentheses. If not, you will know that the answer, this will be a negative number, this will be a negative number, so t has to be positive. But be very careful how you enter it. 
So natural log and 1400 divided by 1725 and close and divide by in parentheses negative 0.0512 close and it's 4 approximately 4 approximately 4 what yes since is it 4 years after 2017 exactly so it will be 2021 And now they're also asking us to find that limit. Limit as t approaches infinity from p of t. Let's analyze that. So p of t, 17 to 50 e to negative point zero five one two t. And remember how we do this. First, we start where t is. where t is from the inner function. So a negative number times t when t approaches infinity. So the question is, where is this going? Minus infinity. Very good, awesome. Now e to negative infinity, remember, e to negative infinity is the same with 1 over e to infinity. Where will this go? Close to 0. Very good. So if this whole thing approaches 0, how much is 0 times this? Zero. Zero. T approaches infinity. When T approaches infinity, the function value gets closer and closer to zero. What does that mean? Asymptote. Yes. A horizontal one. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, 2.3. Okay, um, let's look at heating water. Let's heat water. I'm on page 10. Okay, uh, 31, oops. Sorry, sorry. 31 on page 217. Okay, the time teen minutes needed to allow a cup of cold water placed in a room to warm to t degrees Celsius is given by t of t 50 natural log 15 over 25 minus t. t is the independent variable. This t is the dependent variable. And we are told that t is somewhere between 10 and 25 degrees Celsius. They're asking us in part a to find t of 15 and then t prime of 15 and explain what they represent. And then in part B, they want us to find the, temp the water, st water temperature, so T after one hour. Careful. It's intentional. Okay, so I have to find T of 60 minutes. Okay. So T of 15 is not going to be any problem. We just plug it in. So let's do that. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, in y equals clear. And the function is 50 natural log 
of 15 divided by parentheses, careful, 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 25 minus t. Okay, so 15, 15, if you do not use these parentheses, the calculator will only divide 15 by 25 and subtract x from that fraction. So be very careful. Okay, so when I plug in 15, okay, um, I get, so 15 minutes, so uh, the, the 15 was, uh, um, so they're saying, what is the water temperature after one hour? So I made an error here, I just realized. So they want they 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 want t when so I'm yeah these these t's are getting getting to us oh to me okay I just realized that this is not what they're asking shoot sure, yeah I just realized t can't even go over twenty five <laughs> right 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 yeah so. Careful, I'm talking to myself, not to you. Careful, Monica, with these T's. Okay, so T of 15 means T. So T is in minutes. The inside is in Celsius. So this is in degrees Celsius. Okay, so I plugged it in and I got, what did I get? I got 20.27. Okay, so what does this mean, first of all? Um, when the temperature is 15 degrees, the time needed is 20.27 minutes. So next, T prime of 15, but I cannot determine this before I find T prime. So I have to find T prime first. T prime of T equals 50 is a number, stays outside. Remember how we differentiate, where is my prop? Remember how we differentiate natural log. So natural log of an expression prime is 1 over that expression times that expression prime. So this is 15 over 25 minus t. And this is 15 over 25 minus t. And I have to differentiate it. I did not do it. I don't like to do this, but I wanted to show it in two steps. Okay, so I flip this fraction. So I have 50, 25 minus t over 15. And I will simplify a little bit here in a moment. So now, careful how you, how you differentiate this. You have options here. But I prefer replacing this by 15 times 25 minus t to negative 1. I bring down negative 1. If you don't put parentheses, you, will, you may omit the fact or may change the problem and um, disregard the multiplication symbol. You have to put parentheses. When two operation symbols are touching each other, you have to use parentheses. So I bring down negative 1. I subtract 1 from the power and then times the inner function prime, which is negative 1. So the negative with negative will go away. And look, it's even easier to simplify these. And this is 50, 25 minus t. The negatives are gone, the 15s are gone, and this will go to the denominator, 25 minus t squared. Yes, I can simplify a factor from the top with 1 from the denominator, and I get 50 over 25 minus t. All this work was for t prime. And now I can plug in 15 in it. 25 minus 15 is 10. 50 over 10 will be 5. And we have to figure out the measurement unit. So don't write it here. 
Let's go to the next tab. So T prime of 15, so remember this is in degrees Celsius, is 50 divided by 25 minus 15, which is 10. This is 5. And because this is T prime, the inner, I mean, the independent variable is uh, measured in uh, degrees Celsius. The dependent variable is measured in minutes. So what is the measurement unit for 5? So it's, careful, it's the minute, so the measurement unit for y over the manage, measurement unit for x. And final question again is part b, and they want what is the water temperature, so find the water temperature after one hour, when T equals 60 minutes. So I'll write the formula or the function again. T of T equals 50 natural log uh, 15 over 25 minus T. So I can remove this. So, we are given that T is 60. So they want us to find the temperature, knowing that this is 60. Very similar to what we just did. Of course, you're going to say divide both sides by 5. So I have by 50. 6 over 5 equals natural log of 15 over 25 minus t. I don't see the base of natural log. What is the base of natural log? Any log has to have a base. What is the base for natural log? E. Indeed. Very important to remember. E raised to this power equals this number. E raised to 6 over 5 equals this number, 15 over 25 minus T. Yes, I know it's ugly. Just don't look at it. It's just a number. E raised to this power equals this number. So just cross multiply. So this is over 1. It's a proportion, 15 equals that number, don't even look at it, times 25 minus t. I'll distribute. 15, 25, e to 6 over 5, minus e to 6 over 5 times t. I will move this term here, and I will move this term here, and divide by this. One of your colleagues from another class just told me, yeah, your calculus is one line and your algebra five pages. Yep, I agree. He is right. Okay, so e to 6 t equals 25 e to 6 fifth minus 15. So t will be all this. If you simplify these two, it will be a tragedy, a complete tragedy. Okay, so careful when you put it in, put parentheses. So let's put it in and get the temperature. You can always go back and check by plugging it in the function. Okay, so let's take a look. So parentheses around the top, 25. And now times e, where is my e? 6 over 5, close, minus 15, and divide, oops, 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 and divide by, no, divide by e raised to 6 fifth. Couldn't they find anything uglier than this? 
I'm checking to make sure that I enter it correctly. Okay, 20.5 degrees Celsius. And now you can say, does this give us 60? I don't know. I have the function in here. So when I plug in 20.5, I'm not going to get exactly 60 because I rounded up, but I should get close to 60. So let's see. That's why I have the function there so I don't have to type it in. So I'm going to plug in 20.5. It's not exactly 20.5, but I rounded up. So when I click enter, I should get 60. If I don't get 60, I'll say oops. And of course, I get a little bit higher than 60 because it's not 20.5. It's 20.48, blah, 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 blah. So I'm okay. 60.199 is perfect. As expected, it's a little bit higher. So you can always go back and check your answers like that.